Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. Was there always a pink badger back there? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's new. a new thing. Okay. Actually, what is what is this? I don't want to know. What is this all about? Why is there a girl? No matter what, whenever I come here, that mascot's there to greet me. <laughs> you got that right. That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. And now it's the national symbol of the police force. So what's with the pink one? It's new, right? Yep. Meet the pink badger. Oh, very kind of. So one's called blue and the other's called pink. But they're both called Badger? You got it! They're married! Just like you and Edgeworth. Well, not technically, but uh... So should I'm I... waiting, but... <clears throat> so should I expect to see Baby Badger next time I'm here? Baby Badger? Baby Badger? Baby Badger! I'm Baby Badger! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no no no! I baby. killed all the orphans! Hmm. Baby Badger, don't It was do on that. for one minute. <laughs> And then they canceled it immediately. <laughs> they didn't even finish airing the. They were like, episode. "What did he like, just say?" No. I'm <laughs> baby badger. I killed all the orphans. I orphan. kill everyone. Hmm. So the guilty party was Maggie Bird, huh? Yeah. Back when she was on the police force, you were her mentor when she was a rookie, right? Yeah, I kept a close eye on her. I mean, not too close, you know. Dots. Yeah, you're kind dots. of creeping. Hey, what's with the funny looks, pal? I was just a, it wasn't anything like, look, sure, I was her boss when she was doing a training. But that was it. Nothing happened. Gumshoe sure is sweating up a storm over nothing. I am wearing this giant overcoat and it's like 80 degrees in It here. is very, well, it is the end of the year, so I guess it's seasonally appropriate. Ah, so that's it. Our big old Gumshoe has a little old crush on Maggie. They fucked. I- I don't like her or anything, Baka. I- I was- uh. Note to self, gossip with Maya about this later. <laughs> don't tell anyone, okay? You gotta keep it a secret, and got it? And the tweet is sent, and everybody knows. Everyone in- on my friend group knows? Sure. And would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking all the time? Gant thinks it's hilarious? You, you, you're Twitter friends with Gant? Hey, tell me your face, pal. Or tell your face, pal, not me. Most of Gant's yeah. tweets are just the clapping emoji just for a whole tweet. For like the, the full 280 or whatever. <laughs> You'd have to be blind not to see what's on your, your mind. And there's like an orange that he puts on every single one. I guess yeah. it's like a signature thing. So I was wondering, could you fill me in on the victim? Glenn Elg, he was a computer programmer. I see, a programmer. Sounds like a nerd. He was just a regular- I mean, look at his scouter he's wearing. He was just a regular Joe working for a small-time computer firm. Maggie never had any contact with the guy before that day. And all she did was take him his coffee on the day of the murder. Hell. Yeah, Maggie also claimed to have never seen the guy before. Did the victim go to the restaurant often? Not according to the chef. Said it was the first time he'd seen the guy. A programmer and a first-time customer. What possible reason could Maggie have had to kill a guy like that? That's what I thought. But a motive was still somehow established in her trial. You're kidding. What was her supposed motive? Sorry, pal. I'm real busy. I haven't even got enough time to sift through these papers. Look into it yourself, okay? What could this motive have been? Really? You can't just tell me? You have like 10 seconds. Why do I have like 30 notifications? Oh, Francisco retweeted. Oh my god. Oh my god. This isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kind of working on it by myself. Uh, oh, that's right. An indie detective investigation. So I need to tell Francisco she doesn't have to quote tweet every single one of my tweets and also all of her own responses. The judge already ruled on the case and all the evidence is in already. The only problem is with Maggie's testimony. Yeah. Doesn't sound very good for us, huh? Look, pal, I've got a mountain of papers on this case to look over before tomorrow. So I'm just gonna say this. Maggie Bird's no liar. She's... she's... Okay, so she's a bit out there and a bit off base sometimes. But she was a good cop. That's not exactly complimentary, you know. So what do you think really happened? And just how contradictory is her testimony? I mean, what the heck? Contradictory? The biggest problem with Maggie's testimony is the number of people at the table. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. 
Maggie still insists there was another guy sitting with the victim. Right, but get this. Everyone else in the place says the guy was alone, even the chef. And then there's that CD. CD? Oh yeah, she did mention something about a CD. We did have a whole conversation about the presence of a CD. I don't and know why. We I gotta have that. the flashback. And there was a sample CD on the table, sir. I love that they. Yeah, a whole flashback that. just to mention that. But our guys turned that place upside down. There was no CD. They turned the whole building upside it down. It was a lot of manpower, a lot of uh, did it, construction did equipment. Did it help with the investigation? No, in fact, <laughs> we are being sued by John Armstrong now. It made it really hard to investigate also because the whole building was upside down. I don't know why we did it. What? Not on the table. Not anywhere in the whole restaurant, pal. But didn't Maggie say the victim was wearing a scout or two? Yeah, but that was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie. A radio? He didn't have a CD player? You got it. Your phony never explained the contradiction at all. Come to think of it, the owner of Trebi Inn didn't mention that CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. Oh yeah, because he has psyche locks. Of course he does. Oh yeah, I already knew that. Uh, what do you want to see, Gumshoe? Come on, name your price. Uh... Uh, try magazine clipping. Magazine clippings? I wasn't at the trial myself, but I asked this one detective I know how your defense was. And what did he say? He started off by saying, I'm at a complete loss of a world. It's a oh, I wonder what detective... <laughs> Gumshoe, <laughs> don't undo my voice when you talk <laughs> about me. It's a very rude. <laughs> but he must have found some quick because he went on about how bad you were for an hour. Gregorio, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> but... He said you sucked so much, it seemed like you were trying to get Maggie found guilty. Gumshoe, he knows you're talking about me. Stop. It looked like I was trying to get Maggie found guilty. I don't want him to unfollow me on Twitter. I only, you're like one of my three followers, so that's pretty terrible. What about this? What's that? A sports paper? You like the sports? I found it in the magazine rack at Trebi Inn. It's dated the same day as the murder. You may be on or something here. And take a look at this. See the writing here? MC Bomber. Hey! Hi. What is it? Uh, I just was wondering how you were doing. I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah, MC Bomber. Wow, he actually seems to be thinking for once. Or McBomber. I'm loving it. Act chocolate, it's no good. I can't remember. You ever had the McBomber at McDonald's? It's, it's pretty really bad. bad. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> horrible. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. It's just ten layers of ketchup. Wow. Hey, pal. I'm gonna borrow this paper for a bit, okay? I want to get a handwriting analysis done on this scribble. Handwriting, huh? It'd be good to know more about that in any case. Thanks, pal. I bet this will turn out to be an interesting clue. Okay, take the sports paper. I just need something to read while I'm on the toilet. Yeah, I mean, I that's, that's fine. You don't have to give me the whole song and song dance, and dance that. I mean, you can have the stupid magazine. Uh, maybe uh, something's changed somewhere else. Maybe. Tress Bian. I think at this point... No, nope. let's maybe go back not. to Gummy. Okay. Uh, I shut up most of my stuff. Let's see... I don't know what else... Oh, wait, this isn't... Because I know what's supposed to happen. I don't think it's ready yet. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so we can show him attorney badge. We showed him everything here, right? We haven't shown him this, but I don't know if that would. Yeah. What do you make of this? The hell? Is, why are you showing me this? I'm trying to show you everything All I, I can have. Think about is Maggie. Okay. I miss. I mean, I Maggie. guess I know that feel. I guess there's another Try guy. John. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. I have profiles. The chef of Trey Beer, Flabin, huh? You know what that chef said to me? Oh la la! Your body is for a lot of toxins. And then he gave me this bottle. What's in it? I don't know. The label says Juniper. I'm under orders to put a few drops of it in my bath every day. Under orders? Yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I I mean, the guy. Um, huh? You can't stop thinking about him? Not like that, pal. Give me a break. He's not my type. I mean, I can't stop thinking that he's involved with this case somehow. Sounds like he knows a little something more about our charming chef. Let's find out what let's, he knows about our charming chef. Uh, let's find out, shall we? So, what exactly is it that caught your attention about the chef at Trebi Inn? It's, um, kinda hard to say. The guy's probably not even connected with the case anyway. 
Hey, come on, detective. Didn't you say you'd give me the dirt on anything? Well, this sort of stuff is kind of unimportant gossipy stuff, you know, pal? Look, how about this? You go to Trey Brienne and investigate the place yourself. And if you find out anything suspicious about the guy, you report back to me, okay? Um, don't suppose I get a choice in this, huh? Guess I'd better find out more about the chef and Trey and then report back to Gumshoe. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's uh, hop on back. Let's uh, go. We have to a go lot through of here. Arbitrary timing on these. Gotta go there and then And then this event will trigger. January now. 6th, Trespian. The scent of flowers sure is strong. It's almost making me dizzy. Oh, oh hello. Oh, um, <laughs> hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, frog. Who was that just now? A, a customer? She had sort of a dark aura about her. Ah, uh, oh. Ah, uh, welcome. Oh, ah, welcome, B Avenue. Wow, what a cute voice. Oh, it's me. Oh, uh, it's Maya. <laughs> oh, it's just you, Nick. But Maya. Well, how do I look? Dots. Maybe you should quit being a spirit medium. Maybe, but it, it's just, it's kind of boring being a waitress. I mean, you're my first ever customer. Then who was that woman I just saw? Oh, oh! Since you're here, you might as well have something to eat. I am kind of hungry, actually. Oh, I forgot. Lawyers don't eat. Oh, no, I... We... No, no food for you. I'll take Shit. all these dipping Dots and... <laughs> so, how do you like your new job, Maya? Oh, don't eat them all at once. Oh, God. I never knew there was so much for a waitress to do. Take people's orders, bring them food, make coffee, work the cash register. Of course, we need a customer before I can do any of that. Yeah, it's a nice looking restaurant. It's a shame more people don't come. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress. Check out my give me a tip smile. I will not Hey Nick, why don't you order something? The chef's preparing a tasty lunch set at the moment, or so he says. How much is it? One million dollars. It's the twin tea set, so it's twenty dollars of course. The twin tea set? I believe I'll be taking a pass. It's kind of expensive. What? But you can't! Come on, Nick, it's not every day I get to be a waitress. I want to try carrying plates and working the cash register. How about cleaning the cleaning the toilets? That should keep you busy. Yeah, right. Maybe later. Um, about the lunch. Oh, a fine choice, sir. No, I, um... Kitchen! A lunch special, please! With all the extras, drink, side salad, dessert, and a gift. And caviar! I don't need any of that. And like, put put chocolate syrup all over the whole thing. And white truffles! Just a moment, please, sir. I did not want the white truffles. We are preparing the best meal that they we are market have in the price. I know they're market price. Maya's really getting into this. Yeah, just put them all on. Just put five servings of it. So how much is this at lunch then? At this point, $900? <laughs> yeah, it's not 20 anymore. <laughs> But with the drink, side salad, and dessert, caviar, and white truffles, it's $450,000. Hey, wait a sec, Maya! Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Here you are, our deluxe fortify lunch set. Whoa. A dish inspired by lobster and abalone fricassee with a balsamic vinaigrette. Bon appetit. That's pretty good. Um, thanks? Come on, Nick. Hurry up and try it already. Lobster, huh? All right. Down the hatch it goes. Blech. You're supposed to like crack it so you don't just Blech. put the whole thing in your mouth. Well? Well, it's really bad. Is that good? Are you hungry, Maya? I'm starving. Here, it's yours. Really? Remember, Maya, uh, my wallet doesn't print money, so you'd better polish off that plate. I've just remembered. I've got to clean the toilets. Hey! You can't be in that that much of a hurry to clean the toilets. I love cleaning toilets, don't judge. I mean, there was that one time. Well, Pearl's the best at it, but... She's very good. How does that guy manage to make good food taste so bad? Hey, Nick, you want to take a peek at the kitchen? The kitchen, huh? Not a bad idea. I mean, we're not supposed to, but... Well, let's go on. Let's go on coming into crime. Mm -hmm. Now, what was it that Maggie said again? In the kitchen, you'll get to see all the chef's greatest secrets. In the kitchen? Hmm. Mmm, that sounds tasty. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait up, Maya. What is it? I'm pretty busy right now. Weren't you gonna show me around? There goes my plan to find some cool clue and show it off in your face. I'd better conduct the search in the kitchen myself. Come on, I ain't uh, It's mosey on over. I mean, oh, maybe I'll next episode we'll mosey on to the kitchen and, and discover some more, uh, some more truffles. Discover static and static truffles. Shock.